Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from Unearth Films. This is actually made in 2013, but it was just uh, recently released. It's called Sheepskin. Uh, a really cool title, and obviously the cover might, you know, obviously conceptual, but uh, uh, pretty cool uh, cover, actually. And uh, the quote in the beginning and along with the cover kind of give away something, or they at least imply something very strongly. Uh, essentially, this is a film about a group of four people that kidnap this man that they believe is responsible for the murder of his sister, the main uh, guy's sister. Uh, they have him tied up and they kind of interrogate him and as uh, pretty soon it's divulged they believe he's a werewolf uh, and uh, Todd who is the guy they think is a werewolf believes it to be ridiculous he thinks it's insane although some signs do point to him actually being a monster of sorts uh, it definitely follows the rules of kind of like uh, Reservoir Dogs it's all in one area confined area uh, which is really smart for a budget film to do uh, and they kind of just have these five or six characters in the entire film uh, the only actress I actually recognized was from a bunch of Richard Griffin's films, which is really nice to see her in here. Uh, uh, Jamie Lynn, I can't remember her last name. Bagley, is it? Uh, let me check. Sorry, guys. I'm cheating a little bit here. Yeah, Jamie Lynn Bagley. Uh, and then she's in Accidental Incest and Flesh for the Inferno. Really cool to see her pop up in some other stuff that's not Griffin's movies. I'll do, I do enjoy her in Griffin's films as well. Uh, the acting in this film is uh, pretty strong for the most part. I didn't have any complaints. I thought all the characters carried themselves pretty well. Uh, the script's pretty solid. Although sometimes you kind of figure, would you really have done that in this kind of situation? But under panic, I, it can be definitely forgiven. Uh, uh, the film has a lot of well thought out little uh, things in here that are shout outs to other films, shout outs to, you know, the werewolf mythology and things like that. And uh, I don't want to necessarily give away the end, but, uh, you know, I think you guys will know what's kind of going on here. Uh, I, I did enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, the film, the actual DVD comes with the regular edition and that you can watch it in black and white. And uh, that, that's also a pretty cool feature as well because this movie would definitely look pretty good in black and white. It has a director's commentary in there which is also uh, very informative. They talk about you know a lot of the actors and actresses in the film. They also talk about like how they put little hints of other werewolf films in there which is really cool uh, names here and there. Uh, and it was a well thought out deal. It comes with the original short they made and I think they vastly improved uh, uh, from the original short on the feature, which, you know, really doesn't happen all that much. You think, oh, well, they have this small concept, and they sometimes they stretch it out, and it becomes drawn out and annoying and boring, and that's not the case here. It actually made it much better and fleshed out, and I enjoyed it even more. The acting's much stronger in this one as well. Uh, the lead guy is a very intriguing guy. Uh, the guy accused of being a werewolf, I think he plays it very well. At first, I was con a little confused how this guy was playing it, but uh, as it progressed, I thought that he played it uh, the only real way you could play it in that kind of situation. Uh, acting strong, uh, scripts fairly strong, and uh, the gore effects are uh, well done in here. Uh, the digital stuff, uh, you know, there's a couple digital stuff in here that's here is kind of kind of miss. Maybe there's some stuff I didn't even notice, but there's a gunshot that I was kind of oh, cuts away a little bit. But uh, you know. It, for the most part, it's a well-constructed film with solid special effects, solid script, and solid acting. And uh, for an indie, I was really happy to see it because uh, it's they followed the right rules. It can find area. didn't try to work out of their means, but they also did everything that they had and used very well. And that's uh, cool. Uh, they put a lot into it. It's well thought out. Like they, The little bits in here, like I said, they uh, pay homage, I guess, to other things. Uh, also includes a behind-the-scenes on the film, which uh, the director does puts his insights here about the special effects and why they chose to do certain things and I think they made the right choice on those. Uh, regardless, I think it's a well worth your uh, purchase or rental or whatever, however you want to see this one. Uh, not a bad film at all and uh, loaded with a good amount of features. Sheepskin is, is, a, is an indie winner, I'd say. Thank you very much for watching and have a good one. You know what this is? Looks like a Silver bullet. Wait, you think I'm a werewolf? Bingo.
Werewolves have existed in literature and folklore since man has been writing. You told me all those people are crazy. People used to think the earth was flat too, until this little thing called science came.